Chelsea, and I'm an educator with SPREE, which stands for South Platte River Environmental Education. And we host field trips, day camps, and events for kids just like you all across the Denver area. Today, we're gonna do a craft that you can do right here in your home. It's called stained glass macro invertebrates. For this craft, you're gonna need a couple things that you might have right in your house. You'll need paper, crayons, cooking oil, scissors, permanent marker, and a paper towel. We have all sorts of macro invertebrates in the South Platte River, like the caddisfly, mayfly, and scuds. You start this project by drawing your own macro invertebrate, like this mayfly here, or you can print one off of our Pinterest page. When you've got your macro drawn, the next step is to color. like, you can cut your macro out. When you like how your macro looks, it's time to add the stained glass effect. Dip a cotton ball or a paper towel in a little bit of cooking oil. Rub the paper towel over top of the crayon until you get a nice even coating across the entire piece of paper. This is how we're going to let the light show through. All right, when you're done, hold it up to the light and admire your new decoration. You can either punch a hole in the top and hang it, or you can just tape it straight to your window. Like this. Make sure to snap a picture of your macro, upload it to Facebook or Instagram, and hashtag us at Learning Spree. Thanks for joining us for Stained Glass Macro Invertebrates. Make sure to check out our Just for Kids website for more fun activities that you can do in your home or in your local park. Keep an eye out for more crafts or experiments, and we'll see you next time on Spree TV.